our third reading is taken from the Apostolic Exhortation on the Proclamation of the Gospel in Today's World by Pope Francis, Evangelii Gaudium, the Joy of the Gospel. Paragraph 23. The Church's closeness to Jesus is part of a common journey. Communion and mission are profoundly interconnected. In fidelity to the example of the Master, it is vitally important for the Church today to go forth and preach the Gospel to all, to all places, on all occasions, without hesitation, reluctance or fear. The joy of the Gospel is for all people. No one can be excluded. That is what the angel proclaimed to the shepherds in Bethlehem. Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of a great joy which will come to all the people. The book of Revelation speaks of an eternal gospel to proclaim to those who dwell on earth, to every nation and tongue and tribe and people. The church which goes forth is a community of missionary disciples who take the first step, who are involved and supportive, who bear fruit and rejoice. An evangelizing community knows that the Lord has taken the initiative. He has loved us first. And therefore, we can move forward boldly, take the initiative, go out to others, seek those who have fallen away, stand at the crossroads and welcome the outcast. Such a community has an endless desire to show mercy, the fruit of its own experience of the power of the Father's infinite mercy. Let us try it a little harder to take the first step and to become involved. Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. The Lord gets involved and he involves his own as he kneels to wash their feet. He tells his disciples, you will be blessed if you do this. Here ends the third reading. Thanks be to God.